Um, Ali, your thoughts on the win? Lakers have now won five of six. You know, I, I think I look at this game and I, I kind of put or identify it as a gutsy, grind it out kind of win. You know, San Antonio might not be one of the top tiers in the NBA, but Meta, you would say this. Any guy in that locker room would say this. You can get beat on any given night. No doubt. And so you looked at this stretch for the Lakers, specifically against the Spurs. To face a team in back-to-back -back road situations is one thing, but to have faced this team three times in a six-day stretch, it requires a different level of focus and preparation, kind of similar to that of Meta is what we talked about in the, the pregame show kind of like a mini playoff series. And I think yeah. that that's what kind of stood out to me when you see how the Lakers have been playing as late, the lack of presence with a guy like Patrick Beverly, who can bring it on the defensive side of the ball, that presence, a guy like Anthony Davis, who has been averaging 34 and 18 over the last handful of games, to come in and grind this one out. They fell down by 11 early yeah. uh, to respond, withstand that storm. Um, I think it's just one of those where they can look at this all in all. As you mentioned, Meta, from start to finish, they took steps forward. A lot yeah. of great. Yeah, go ahead, Meta. No, absolutely. No, I, I was saying they, they did. You know, I feel like if you look at the flow of the game, even last year, going back to last year, it would be so frustrating because you just didn't know what stretch of the game it was going to look bad. Tonight, it looked good. It looked smooth. And even when they, the Spurs started to come back, the Lakers, they kept control. A lot of great things that we can jump into. Bench was phenomenal with 49 points. There were six players in double figures. Dennis Schroeder had a season high. Wenyan Gabriel, a season high. Austin Reeves was great. I think Lonnie was 13 of his 19 points, came in the fourth quarter. But we have to start with LeBron James. With no Anthony Davis, it was his second game back. He was 7 of 12 from three. And I had a stat ready to go with the help of our uh, graphics producer, Andrew Miller. He was one point away from 40. When he got 40, I was going to start with, you know, it was the 70th time in his career, eighth all-time in 40-point games, but he was one shy. But the 39 points, the 11 rebounds, and just really set the pace for the entire game for this Laker team. Yeah, I kept talking about this even yesterday when we were here in studio. LeBron is blending it in with the team. Not to say he's not as good as those guys or those guys as good as him, but they're a young group with fresh legs. And it's really hard for an older player to keep up with younger players, but LeBron is doing a good job of moving his body and just blending in, you know, with this young team. I think LeBron takes a lot of pride, too, in his ability to lead. And with a new roster and squad, we talk about a lot of guys trying to find their niche, trying to find where they fit in best. I think you can say that that goes for LeBron as well. And just in terms of, to your point, Meta, of inserting and imposing his will. Um, I loved when he laughed last night when he was asked if he was going to come out and play in a back-to-back -back situation. And he said, I just had two weeks off. And I think, to your point, of the efficiency and the way he's been shooting the ball, um, especially as of late, 60 points, 19 rebounds combined at almost 38 years old. Yeah. It, it tells you everything that he's about still at this point. And, and in a night like this, when you are without Anthony Davis, who has been such a focal point, he, he raised the bar and played like the LeBron that they needed to in this moment.